Hello, hello. Thanks for joining me again. It's good to see you. Um, I have a, a a new role within the company, so I have a kind of a new look for my channel. I figured it was, uh, if I'm making a change, I might as well make a change. So I hope you like it. Um, along with that role, if it looks like I'm broadcasting to you right now from a hotel room, it's because I am. Um, my new role comes with a lot of travel, and I figure if I if I have if I have to wait until I'm home long enough to make a video, I might not make a video. So here I am from the road doing this for you, and I hope you like it. This one is going to be kind of a really short one for you, uh, but I kind of like this one a lot. Um, in a previous video, might have been the last video that I did. It was specifically about using uh, InDesign data merge in order to start throwing different images into a templated file and that's what I have here is a multi-page PDF. This is the end result of one of the files that I made during that video. Um, multi-page PDF and if you see this is you know, this particular one is page 12 of 40. So this is a 40 page PDF and uh, there's nothing inherently wrong with uh, with a 40 page PDF. The real problem with it is when I go to rip this file, when I go to print this file, it's kind of tedious to go through here and say, oh, I need to print pages two and seven and 21 through 26 and you know, dealing with all of that. Um, it's, it's just hard. So a lot of times what we want to do is have single files to work with. So what I'm going to show you here is how to actually bust apart a multi-page PDF into individual pages, individual PDF documents. I do need Acrobat Pro for this or Adobe Acrobat. I can't do this with Reader. Um, uh, so if you have Reader, you're kind of out of luck. There might be some third party tools that allow you to do this, but you can't do it directly within Reader. And the reason for that is because you don't have the following menu here. I'm going to go under View and Tools, and then I'm going to go to Organize Pages and then open that. It's not intuitive to put this under organized pages, but it's probably the best place that they could do it. So we're going to go open here. And now I have a view of all of my pages. I can rearrange, I can rotate things. You know, when I scan things with my document scanner, if they came in rotated for some reason, I can go ahead and, and fix that up uh, in here. Or I could just dump a page. There's, there's a few things that I can do, right? I can insert more. There's, I mean, you can see there's, there's some cool things that I can do here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control a to select all. Uh, if I don't want to select all, I can just, you know, hold down shift or control and you know, select multiple pages. But in this case, I want to do with them all. And where I want to go is over here to extract. So if I go to extract, it brings up a little dialogue and you can see one of the items here is extract pages as separate files. That's exactly what we want to do in this case. I don't want to, if I don't do this, let's say I just throw, chose pages three, four, and five, it would make a three page PDF out of what I had selected in that particular case. Well, if I don't click that because I have everything selected, it'll just make a duplicate 40 page PDF. I want singles. So extract pages as separate files. I'm going to go ahead and hit extract, and then I'm going to navigate my way to where I want to go. All right, so I've navigated to the folder that I want. Now I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to crunch all of this. You'll see down here I've got my progress bar. And we just give it a moment. And there it is. It's done. So if I close this out, if I open that folder that I just created, if I open that folder, look at that, I have all of my files ready to go. So if I choose, let's say, file number 12 here, there it is, right? That was page number 12. And the way this works is whatever your initial file was called, which in this case was 24 by 18 R series samples.pdf. All it does is append the page number. So that would be page one, page two, page three. So I do probably, I would want to go back in and, and rename these, and that might be a good candidate for using Adobe Bridge um, because of the, the rename tool is pretty good in Adobe Bridge, and it also gives me nice big previews if I want them so I can really see what it is and give it a, a thoughtful name.
But there you go. That's all there is to it. Um, it, it really is just that simple. Uh, so I, I hope you've, you've learned something from this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.